And we're back with the movie reviews uh, off for the uh, past couple of weeks because there's been some changes going on <laughs> at Showbiz Cinema, and they've got a brand new manager over there. And, uh, we're glad that she's in to join us this morning. We want to introduce you to Melena. Hi, Melena. Hi. Uh, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for coming in. You're going to be a regular now every Friday morning. Oh, <laughs> coming in talking about new yes. movies and stuff. It's like the mob. Once you're in, you, you, you can't get out. <laughs> uh, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm from Orange, Texas, which is about five and a half hours away from here. <laughs> so it's on the border of Louisiana. Uh-huh. Oh, my, my. Um, I'm 23, so I'm pretty young. Uh-huh. I've been with Showbiz Cinemas for about four years now. I've been a general manager for about two. All right. How so exciting. Since I was about 21. Good. <laughs> wow, you just moved right on up the ladder there, yes. didn't you? I've loved movies since I was 13, and I'm one of those people that can just spout off stuff about yeah. many of them. All well, right. then you're perfect for, for our movie talk <laughs> yeah. every Friday, that's for sure. Yeah, and Melina, if I put you on the spot and said, what is your favorite movie of all time? Oh, I hate that question. <laughs> your favorite movie of all time, what If would it I be? had to pick one, only because since I was about five, I've watched it every Halloween and Christmas, it would have to be The Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, awesome. Before Christmas. Okay. It's awesome. very... You know, cool with all the claymation and the stop motion. It's Burton-esque. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and it's got a great moral underlining. Yeah, that's true. Well, well, we're glad you're here. And uh, we're going to get caught up now because I said we haven't had movie reviews for a couple of weeks. And so let's go back a week or so. What new movies uh, have been uh, doing well for you there? We have uh, the new animated film, Big Hero 6. It's very, that very so cute. cute. <laughs> and a lot of people don't know that it's actually based off a Marvel comic. So it's even really? more cool and what? there's a oh. secret scene at the end so if anybody wants to stay oh. you're more than welcome to you right. okay that's a little hint stay stay up to the credits and then the other one is interstellar with matthew mcconaughey oh boy hey, yeah. hey, i hey. want to see that one that looks definitely good definitely a good movie but it is three hours long <laughs> three hours wow yes. christopher well, nolan does it again i can handle three hours of matthew mcconaughey <laughs> <laughs> you, you heard that, that he uh, matthew mcconaughey has announced that he would like to be in the next star wars movie good for him yeah it, it, when the disney heard this they came up with new characters uh one of them that he could play would be uh obi-wan a doobie <laughs> oh, goodness. And, and his sidekick would be are you high too what, oh. what, yeah, i don't know about that all right all right all right <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, all right. Now, the, the the first one, the animated movie that you were saying, what's the name of that one? Big Hero 6. Okay. On a scale of one to five, five being best, what do you give that? Oh, definitely a five. Five? It's Seven. really good. Got okay. enough little action, enough uh, cute kitty stuff. It's yeah. very good. It looks okay. like it's good for the, adult, the adults and the kids. Yes, Everybody's definitely. Everybody's going to have fun watching Especially if you like comics. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And Interstellar, that's the one with Matthew McConaughey, right? That's mm-hmm. it, uh, a scale of one to five, five being best, what do you give it? Uh, for the length, I would say. <laughs> About three a hours. Three. Yeah. <laughs> about a three for three hours. Yes. Okay. Uh, for the content and the story is definitely a five. Awesome. I know I'm sounding kind of, every movie's the best, but it's definitely a it five. Is. Awesome. For okay. just the suspense. All yeah. right. And okay. then the new movie that's coming out this week, uh, this weekend, uh, that's based on K&I, Dumb, <laughs> Dumb and Dumber 2. Dumb and Dumber 2 is opening this weekend. And they got back the original stars in this Yes, movie. they did. That's exciting. Um, basically, it is a sequel to the the first one it's set 20 years later today mm-hmm. and um lloyd has actually been in an insane asylum <laughs> yeah faking it <laughs> yes <laughs> and it's been a huge fake and so him and harry find out that harry actually has a daughter and uh, she was put up for adoption so they go on this crazy road trip to try and find her and, and the adventure begins yes yeah. <laughs> and i say that it's got all the same like funny things that the first one did so i think it's going to be really good yeah awesome. is it as good as the first one or better oh definitely as good as the first one okay because okay. it kept all the same shtick it's really right good. okay good so okay. dumb and dumber two on a scale of one to five five being best what do you give it for right now i give it 4.5 4.5 4. 4. 5. there you go <laughs> Get some high I went down a little bit. Movies. Some high ratings on these movies. And as I said uh, on Friday, so we'll uh, start returning with these movie reviews here on K-Bay. Malena is the new manager there. So when you see her, uh, shake her hand and say welcome and uh, welcome her in to doing movie reviews on K-Bay. Good to meet you. And we'll Thank talk you. to you again next Friday, okay? All right. Sounds great. Have a good one. You too.